I have a feeling that we'll we'll have zero privacy in the future. I have a feeling that all of this encryption and all the stuff I, I think it's all going to be invalid once quantum computing is ubiquitous i think i just have a feeling that there's no way you can stop information when when technology moves past where it is now to some place where basically anybody could get access to anything at any time and then the problem becomes how do you control money when that happens because money in a lot of I mean, a lot of it is just ones and zeros. And the only thing that stops you from being able to steal it or transfer it is encryption. When, when you don't have any more encryption and anyone kind of has access to anything that's online. So, yeah, I hear you. It does seem like over time technology is working against privacy. And it's yes. just, it's, it's, it's that's evolving. A best way, that's a better way to put it. So, yeah. but, you know, encryption hasn't been broke some encryption has been broken but encryption is still good it still works and Correct. as as quantum computing advances encryption protocols will advance too so it is it's a race um, and there are people trying to trying to break it but I, I, I heard the other day you were mentioning the whole thing with uh, signal and Tucker yeah and so I, yeah to clarify that so based on my understanding signal has not been compromised. Um, the Pegasus program that you were referring to does have the ability to hack people and get into their device. But once you get into the, someone's device, it's actually easier to get into someone's machine or phone than it is to hack the encryption protocol. So if you can get into someone's phone, then you can you probably can get into their I think messages. That's what they did. So that's different. That's yeah. different than Signal being irrelevant. Right. It's yeah. not that signals are relevant, but it's just that the government right now has the ability to get into things no matter what. All you, According to Gavin DeBecker, who's a securities expert, he said all they need is your phone number. Mm -hmm. Signal 1, wa excuse me, um, Pegasus 1, was you needed a link. So someone would have to, that's the whole Jeff Bezos story. Someone mm -hmm. sent him a link on WhatsApp. He clicked on that link, bang, all of a sudden they have access to his phone. Right, and you have to be super sophisticated to lock yourself down to yeah. avoid that. Like, I'm sure that there are people who, well, I know there are people who are probably less victim to something like Pegasus. But sure, yeah. probably less victim. But, I mean, I guess with a guy like Jeff Bezos, he probably has someone scan his phone all the time. But I wonder if they could even detect Pegasus at this point. Yeah. And if we know about Pegasus, too, how do we know if there's a Pegasus 3? Like, whatever sort of workarounds they've found I'm, I'm sure we're not going to be privy to it until it's too late yeah i mean the layers of surveillance kind of keep zooming out mm -hmm. and you know i think this whole this whole intelligence world is is getting out of control i mean because you got you got artificial intelligence you've got we have what we know is the state of human int intelligence we then have what is speculated to be potential non-human intelligences. 